I grew up in Southern California. I'm an only child, and so it was basically just me, my mom, and dad growing up. We have a very close-knit relationship to this day. I think because I was an only child, I was very independent, so I was never afraid to try anything or jump into a new mix of people. Um, but it was a really fun place to grow up. We were five miles from the beach, so I was a total beach bum as a kid and a teenager, and um, still have that love of being near the water and the ocean today. My first job was for a CBS station in Lafayette, Indiana, and I worked there for four years as a weekend anchor and as a um, kind of a hardcore news reporter. I covered the police beat, so when there were major crimes, um, I was the one who was on the scene. I had seen QVC on the air. I knew somebody who worked here at the time, and um, that person sort of encouraged me to send a tape, and so I did. This is a whole new ball game for me. I had to learn so much information about things I never in a million years thought I was ever going to have to know about. But I really relied on my reporting skills from journalism school to help me because I sort of have to be a little reporter for every product. I have to learn about the basics, I have to whittle down the information, and then I have to make sure that I don't bury the lead, the most important parts that a customer is going to want to know when I tell the story of the product. You are the woman. Well, thank and you. And I'm going to play homage to you, my love. <laughs> you are the one. You know, I've worked with Nick since one of his very first shows on QVC, so I've known him for over a decade. We have a very comfortable working relationship, and I think he appreciates that I really know his product and that I'm very picky about my hair, so I try to make sure that I really understand the issues that women have with their hair because I know I have mine. I'm sure he was probably just bowing down because he was either saying thank you or being appreciative that I understood his product so well. When you're on live television, you just have to expect that the unexpected is Hello. often going to happen. <laughs> about today's special value. And that was a very pretty face, Carrie. You know, if you're going to walk into the shot, honey, just smile and keep on walking through. There you go. It's in those instances where the unexpected occurs that you learn the most about who the host really is, how they're able to handle it, the so grace good. in which they're able to what handle it, the about? smile in which they're able to say, well, that was a little crazy, wasn't it? That's how you really get to know that we're just people like our customers are. We all work different hours and different days each week, so that keeps the spontaneity and the variety there. There's never anything to get bored with when you work here, because there's always new products, there's always new people, there's always new guests coming in. So there's never a chance to get bored. Some of us have been together since my very first day I stepped out here on air at QVC. I'm still working with those same people 14, 15 years later. So I love the team work and the camaraderie of everybody who works so hard to put these shows together. I can't imagine myself doing anything different. This is such a great place to be.